Hi friends, welcome on board for a repair attempt. The entrance of the apartment I live has two or three of these movement activation or PIR sensors and this one started to malfunction yesterday. It was turning on the lights continuously. So I decided to repair this thing although it is pretty cheap because one of the methods that we learn electronics in practice is by repairing stuff. Also to see how companies build cheap products for the mass population market. This is the back side of the enclosure. Take it away. And here is the inside. I have already repaired this board. The problem was this capacitor and this capacitor. It is actually a capacitor based supply and this one had lost its capacitance. It is rated 470 nanofarad and it was reading 350. And also this one, this one was bulgy. Here it is. Without any measurement, this is a bad capacitor, totally dried out. So I replaced these two capacitors and decided to replace the rest of them although it was not necessary and it is pretty acceptable I think this one worked for around at least I say seven or eight years pretty acceptable for this cheap products in this range and you can use these green JW Co branded capacitors for uh, repair attempts because nobody use brand capacitors Rubicon, Nichicon or similar for such products let me explain the board pretty interesting as i said all of the components are through hole the quality of the pcb is so so not a good fr4 but it does the job i have seen cheaper boards than this but this one is good here is the ac input a fuse for protection nice because many cheap ones many cheap products uh, don't even have a fuse capacitor based supply these two Zener diodes this one probably to supply the relay individually and this one to supply the rest the sensors it has two sensors one light sensor one PIR and this op amp the op amp is LM324 a quad op amp pretty cheap this is a linear regulator because uh, we need a fixed and a stable supply to supply the sensors and the optical uh, and the uh, op amp so that's why they have used this linear regulator the part number is part number is 78 l o l o 8 and an 8 volts regulator this transistor i believe is to sense the ldr or light sensor and activates the ground of this relay because this optical this I say again optocoupler this op amp uh, amplifies the voltage variation of this PIR sensor this sensor is on the back side of the board the voltage uh, difference or the voltage variation of this sensor itself is pretty low it's uh, it's in the milliamp range so we have to amplify it through an op amp like this so the op amp activates the relay from this side or i can say provides a, an activation signal for the relay through these two transistors i believe these two transistors are configured in darlington in the darlington shape to enhance the current and when the ldr is or the light is within the acceptable range the ground is activated for this relay and this relay is active otherwise the PIR sensor always this always senses the environment for any changes or the movement of the people so pretty much that's it uh, to design such a product you don't need to use microcontroller when such a design such a discrete design using cheap components do the job and its stability is pretty nice and acceptable 
So if you want to build products for mass population, this is one of the methods. This is a pattern that we should follow, otherwise nobody buys expensive products. And as I said, you don't need to buy or use brand high quality components. Average components do the job and it, this one works for many years and it, it is acceptable for the customers. Okay, I think it's enough. Uh, I hope you like this video. Give me a big thumbs up. We will do something else in the next video.